Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to use the Australian version of Zero's demo company to take a look at how you can add and approve timesheets in Zero Payroll. Now, there's two ways that you can do it. The first way is as an administrator, and the second way is as an employee via the My Payroll portal. So that's how your staff will put in their timesheets for your approval. Now the process for both ways is almost identical. You just log into different places to do it, but the screens and the buttons, etc., are pretty much exactly the same. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do it as an administrator, because that's how we're logged in to Zero's demo company. And once you know how to do that, you can easily train your staff on how they can do it as an employee. They just need to log into my payroll and you can show them the process. So let's go into the demo company now as an administrator and we'll put in a timesheet for approval. Okay, so over in the demo company, just go to payroll and timesheets and then just click on add timesheet, select your employee. So we're going to choose Odette and then we're going to just grab the next week. So that's the week ending the 21st of May for me and then click on save. Okay, so we're taken to the timesheet screen now. So you can see it's got up there timesheet for the week ending 21st of May. It's got the employee, the status is draft. It's got the week ending again. And then it's got a total of nothing at the moment because we haven't filled it in. Down the bottom here, you've got a couple of buttons. You've got a button to just delete the timesheet if you don't want it anymore. Or you can save it as a draft or you can approve it right away or you can just hit cancel to get out of the screen. And in the middle here, this is where we're going to fill out the earnings rate and the times for each day. So for the earnings rate here, there's a little drop down menu and you can just pick ordinary hours or overtime hours or whatever you've got set up in your payroll. You'll probably have more than this set up. So for me, I'll just pick ordinary hours and I'll just go and fill in a couple of times in here. Okay, so I've just put in some hours each day there from Monday to Friday. And you can see the total there is 29 hours for the week. So if that's all that she did for the week, that's fine. We could just go ahead and save it or approve it. But let's go ahead and add another line. And this time we'll just choose the overtime hours. And we'll just say that she worked some overtime hours as well. So I'll just put that in. Okay, so I've just got five hours there on Sunday. So that's come across to the total there. And we've got a grand total there of 34 hours. All right, so we could go and approve that right away, but let's just save it as a draft and see what happens. Okay, so we'll just go back to the main screen. All right, and here we are now. So we've got Odette's timesheet there for the week ending the 21st of May. The status is draft, and we've got just the last edited date there and the total of 34 hours. Okay, so that's how you can put a draft um, timesheet in. Now, if your employees are submitting their timesheets through the portal, those will come through here as well and they'll have the status on there. So they might be draft, for example, and then you can just go in and approve them just like you would this one here. Okay, so let's go back in and we'll just approve this. Okay, and we'll click on close. Okay, and there we are. We've now got that timesheet approved and that's ready for processing in a pay run. Okay, so that's how you can add a timesheet as an administrator here and you can approve it ready for payment. Okay, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more free videos and also check out the links in the description below for our Zero courses. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.